Okay, guys, so in this video, we're going to talk about Hertz stock and whether the stock is a uh, buy or it's completely worthless. So uh, the reason why I'm covering Hertz stock is because I do a lot of research, guys, uh, when I'm basically preparing content for you guys, and I like to use Robin to see what stocks are being owned on uh, Robin Track, as we can see here on Robin Hood. Uh, according to Robin Track, around a hundred and thirty, one hundred and sixty-three thousand people own Hertz stock, and it's uh, the forty-eight most popular stock on the site. So I'm just kind of a uh, you know a little bit uh, just kind of very skeptical of Hertz in general, and the fact that the company filed for bankruptcy. So if we take a look at this article, we can see posted on Forbes. This was posted back on May 23rd. It, okay, so we can see the article posted on for Forbes. It says Hertz files for bankruptcy after 16,000 employees were let go. The CEO made over $9 million. So after 100 years in business, Hertz filed for bankruptcy on Friday, proving to be another casualty during, uh, uh, you know what, guys. So, uh, you know, lots of different companies have wiped out due to what's been going on. And as you can see here, uh, it says Hertz Global Holdings, one of the nation's largest car rental companies filed for bankruptcy protection, saddled with about 19 billion in debt and nearly 700,000 vehicles that have been largely idle. The company lost money for four consecutive years, including in 2019. So uh, guys, you know, this is definitely not the direction that you want to be investing in when you're buying stocks in general. And as you can see, um, the CEO walked away with a pretty big payday as well, even though the company performed really poorly. So let's take a look at the stock chart of Hertz in general. And as we can see here, the stock has been tanking for years, guys. So this is another warning sign of a company that you just don't want to be involved in. As you can see here, the high of the share price was $90 back in 2014, and now it's all the way down to $2. So um, basically, it's down 96% over the long run. And over the last five years, the company is, again, down 96%. So, guys, uh, you know, you definitely, this is not something I want to be involved in. And even Hertz got caught with their pants down uh, trying to basically sell completely worthless stock to the markets. As you can see here, this was posted uh, yesterday. Hertz pulls potentially worthless share offering. Share offering halted pending further understanding of SEC review. And as you can see here, it says it pulled their controversial share offering after security regulators vowed to review it. So they're going to offer up to $500 million in shares, aiming to cash in on a surge in investor interest on a rallying stock despite having filed for bankruptcy protection. And he guys, you know, this is a really, really sketchy by um, this company, Hertz. And as you can see here, it says, in the Monday share offering perspectives, Hertz repeatedly warned potential investors that shares can end up being worthless amid the bankruptcy proceedings, guys. So this is a really, really, really shady company. And uh, I just don't really understand why people, so many people own it on Robinhood. I mean, there's just so many decent companies out there that you can invest your money in, yet 160,000 are perhaps, you know, basically banking on the, the increase in the share price. So as you can take a look here at the chart, guys, um, we can see that, you know, the, the price of Hertz stock was really, really low. So perhaps people you know, were looking at it to kind of profit from it due to the run up. So I'm going to explain to you guys what basically uh, happened uh, with Hertz stock. So uh, to explain this phenomenon of why the stock ran up so much, Basically, uh, you know, this is what happens in a lot of penny stocks. So if I just take off the moving average, you guys can see it much clearer. So uh, this is what we call, uh, there's many people that uh, talk about penny stocks. I think one of the best experts out there is Timothy Sykes. Uh, he's been uh, basically trading penny stocks for a really, really long time. And uh, so according to him, this would be called a basically a supernova uh, type of chart where the price of the stock price runs up a ton in the short run absolutely collapses so the reason why the stock ran up so much you take a look at the long-term chart you can see that the volume was really really high so what was going on here is a lot of people were buying the stock with the whole intention of selling it to someone else higher so this wasn't based on anything with the underlying business this wasn't based on you know the business uh, surviving their chapter 11 bankruptcy filing because usually these companies when they reorganize their assets they'll end up uh, reorganizing on the OTC under a different ticker so perhaps uh, maybe HTZQ or something like that and most likely um, a lot of the shareholders 
can get wiped out. So, you know, guys, it's a really, really risky situation here. And uh, this company has a high chance of perhaps being delisted in the future as well. And as we saw with the whole, I posted a video earlier about Latin American Airlines and that stock ended up getting delisted by the New York Stock Exchange and trading on the OTC. And, uh, you, you know, the OTC, you don't really want to I'll buy a lot of stocks long term on the OTC. I'm not hating on the OTC, but the regulatory um, you know, requirements of the OTC are nothing compared to the NASDAQ and New York Stock Exchange. So once a stock is on the OTC, there can be a lot of shady things done with their books and things like that. So uh, basically to get back to about the share price, as you can see here, so you can take a look at the volume here. So the volume was way up. And then, of course, as you know, investors, you know, just um, traders, I mean, traders got in and just sold the stock off. The stock has plummeted back here. So, you know, uh, basically due to this stock pattern, uh, this stock will probably not be returning back up to $7. So perhaps you, some of you guys bought it and thought, oh, you know, I bought it here. Maybe it's going to rally back up. Not likely. And the fact that Hertz tried to sell another $500 million worth of shares to further dilute the stock would have sent the stock much, much lower. Because every time there's a new stock offering, it basically increases the number of shares outstanding, which dilutes your stake. So, um, you know, my advice would be, uh, you know, this is personally, like I said, guys, you know, um, you know, I just provide my personal perspective on things like this. Um, for me, this is a stay away. You know, I would sell my stock. I wouldn't. I wouldn't get involved in a, in a company that's going completely bankrupt. A company that has a shady management. A company that you know is trying to you know sell stock that is basically probably going to be worthless in bankruptcy court. And uh, this is just a really bad situation to be into. So it's just kind of. I'm just. It's kind of. It's kind of sad to see that so many people own this stock, and I really think that it would be a very uh, wise to basically don't hope and pray that the stock is going to somehow ramp back up to seven dollars. It's probably not. Um, you know, the run-up was done. It's it's done. The 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 people that bought it here, they've already sold out their stake, and the volume is way down on this stock. So. I don't think it's going to jump back up. So, guys, I understand a lot of you out there want to profit from trading penny stocks and things like this. So you've got to really, really study these type of charts. Now, me personally, you know, I do I do have different accounts. So with my main account, with my Fidelity account and things like that, uh, where I have my, you know, most I usually use a retirement and things like that. So I have different accounts for different purposes. So for me personally, I recommend you guys, if you guys want to get involved in stocks like these, risky stocks like these, have two separate accounts set up so do not trade your retirement funds or your life savings with these type of companies because um, you know some people have definitely bought it up here and perhaps they're waiting for it you can get wiped out so what I would do is I would set up two separate accounts right you can set up you need to set up an, a retirement account it's so important guys for you guys you younger Millennials out there especially you guys in your teens and your early 20s set up a retirement account and trade just decent stocks so then you know stocks like Apple Amazon uh, Google Walmart, uh, you know, things like that. You want to own decent companies in that account and these companies you want to hold for, for a long time. But um, then set up a separate account and trade penny stocks. So that way, if you do get wiped out, you don't wipe out your life savings with a company like this. And, uh, you know, if, if it ends up happening, like it gets trade halted or gets delisted, delisted by the New York Stock Exchange, just like Latin American Airlines did, and then you're going to have trouble selling the shares for a couple of days and basically exact same fiasco that happened with Latin American Airlines. So uh, my advice would be, um, you know, obviously, you know, I'm not a financial advisor and things like that. And I make these channels just for educational and uh, entertainment purposes, guys, do your own due diligence. But I just the, the chances of this, I've seen this chart, you know, hundreds of times with stocks, whether it's, you know, recently we've seen this similar chart with stocks like, um, Urban One, I mentioned earlier, we've seen these type of charts with Carver Bank. That was a recent one. Uh, there was another stock, uh, Mark. Um, you know, companies like this. Uh, the you know the volumes lower and the price is falling, and it's just going to fall right back to where it was. And I don't see it coming back anytime soon, guys. So my advice would be to if you're already if you've bought this stock and you're down, I would cut my losses, sell. And the best thing about this market is that you know. Uh, the stock market's red hot right now. There's plenty of other plays you can get into. It's really not necessarily to buy a bankrupt stock that could possibly be delisted by the New York Stock Exchange in, a, in the future, and then you're going to have trouble 
liquidating your shares and a bunch of other problems, guys. So that's just my advice here. I think uh, Hertz is a pretty dangerous stock to be owning right now, and I would be selling. I'm, I'm not touching stocks like that, and I'll never recommend you guys ever, ever buy shares uh, in a stock that's filed for bankruptcy. That's kind of the opposite of what we want to do with investing. So, um, you know, like I said, you can easily just sell these shares and take a loss, and it's fine, guys. You know, you're not going to make money on every single trade. Sometimes you buy the stock and it goes down. That's part of the game, but as long as you're cutting your losses and you're not losing too much money and you're you're doing better on your winners, you're going to do very, very well, guys. So, like I said, uh, with investing and trading with anything in life, it's, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint, you know. Just because you make one bad trade or something like that, not the end of the world. So that's my so that's my opinion on Hertz, guys. Uh, you know, I'm saying be careful out there. If you guys that own the stock, just be sure you're um following the news and making sure it doesn't get uh, delisted anytime soon. So that's it for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. So please smash the thumbs up button if you enjoy my content and smash the red subscribe button. I try to post videos on stocks that I see on the news and things like that, making big moves, give you guys some advice on what to do. So that's it for now, guys. Until next time, take care.